central Tanzania. Cattle is a main source of food and income for the Maasai. But there are no bulls to disturb the peace. In fact, the community doesn't need them. They have this, frozen semen. In the village of Alay Ludla, Maruka carries out inseminations. Maruka is one of 50 inseminators trained under projects operated by the International Atomic Energy Agency, IAEA. Participants from all over Africa come to Tanzania's National Artificial Insemination Center in Arusha. Almost 29 prime bulls of various breeds are kept here. Semen is collected and prepared for distribution, with controls in place to evaluate the quality. It's then diluted and filled into straws. Samples are frozen and contained in liquid nitrogen. This makes transporting them easy and allows storage for many years without the use of electricity. Up to 150,000 straws are produced each year at this center. Inseminators use them as needed in communities all over Tanzania. A nuclear technique known as radio immunoassay, or RIA for short, is a kind of pregnancy test conducted just three weeks after artificial insemination. One RIA test can be done on samples from up to 80 cows. The IAEA has supported the use of this technique in nearly 90 countries by training experts, establishing laboratories, and providing RIA kits. Farmers can now breed cows which fetch higher prices at market and at the same time produce better quality meat. This report was produced by Louise Potterton for the United Nations.